You'll recall that when I was gluing the braces on the top, most of them were not flat. They had a radius to them. Um, I think I might have said 20 foot, but it's actually a 28 foot radius. So the entire top of the guitar is domed to a 28 foot radius. Um, now what I'm going to do is sand down the sides to have that same radius so that the, the gluing surface of the side matches the radius of the soundboard. So I've, I've marked pencil all around and when I sand I'll be able to monitor my progress by watching the pencil lines disappear. I've got this board that I've already done a little bit. It has a 28-foot radius of curvature to it, and I stuck sandpaper to it. So now when I move this sandpaper, or when I move the, uh, the sides back and forth, I will be sanding in that curve. I've got it all sanded. All of the pencil lines disappeared all the way around. It's really not something I can show very well on camera other than to, to say that when I started this straight edge would lay flat across the head block and the tail block for the whole width of each of those blocks. And now I hold the straight edge on the head block, you can see that there's a, a pretty sizable gap that the, the straight edge rocks against. And that, again, is because the whole gluing surface is domed, and so it makes sense that the, the inside edge of the head block would be higher up than the outside edge. Um, the same thing is true at the tail block, although the tail block is only about a third the thickness of the head block. So you can barely see that gap, but it's there. And then if there was a way to, to put a solid edge connecting the head block and the tail block, if I was to put a straight edge across you would see that that it dipped going both ways from the center anyway that is the domed sides ready for the for the top to be glued on I trimmed all the braces and sanded them to 220 so the soundboards ready to go I cleaned up that little joint reinforcement that I put in there. And then on the sides, what I did was notch away the curved lining every place where one of the big braces will intersect it. And then after the, the top is glued on, I'll go back and replace the curved lining pieces. I'm using tight bond for this because I'm afraid I wouldn't be able to spread the hide glue fast enough to keep it from drying. And uh, tight bond gives me a little bit more setup time. So that's my reason for using it. glue these with the, the soundboard down so that the glue flows toward it, not away from it. Got my center line lined up. And now I can set some clamps.
Alright, I can see pretty good glue squeeze out all the way around. So I'll let this sit overnight and then move on. With the clamps off, you can see quite clearly what I was talking about with the top being domed. If I put this straight edge on here, see it, it rocks quite a bit back and forth. It's flat right where the, the bridge is going to sit because the bridge plate flattens it out there. But once you get past those uh, legs of the X-brace, it continues to be domed and it, all the way back. And also if I turn the guitar this way, you can see the same thing goes on from, from the head block to the tail block. So I could get into the nerdy physics explanation for a reason for doming the guitar. Um, it's, there's a, a principle in physics called Laplace's Law of the Bubble. And what that says is that surface tension is inversely proportional to the fourth power of the radius, meaning that the tighter your curve, the, the more surface tension you have on a bubble, or in the case of a guitar top, the more strength you have in it. If you think of a flat top as really being nothing but a, an infinitely long radius, then you go from that to, to this 28-foot radius, you've increased the, the strength of that top remarkably, not even thinking about the, the bracing involved, but just by nature of the fact that it is curved now, it's a lot stronger than it would be if it were flat across. Okay, enough of that. So the next thing I'm going to do is replace all of these uh, missing pieces of kerfing that I took away in order to make room for the braces. Um, I will glue new pieces on top and that'll not only, uh, well it, the main thing that's going to do is support the ends of each of these braces so I don't have to get concerned that someday if the top of the guitar gets hit that they will the braces will pop loose because they're anchored at the ends and they should be okay for a long time. Alright, so I'm sure you get the idea. I'll just do this all the way around and no need to show it all. <laughs> 